making a square tooth jacking screw or lead screw and nut in Tinkercad. A square tooth can impart more force in the direction of the screw than an angled tooth can, so it's used for jacking screws and lead screws. Things like the solder paste dispensing screw. First we need our screw threads shape, so we select all. Find the page. Currently it's on page 15. Grab our screw threads and place it on the plane. First thing we want to do is change our tooth profile. So zoom in with the scroll wheel. I want a simple size for my tooth profile. So I want it 2mm by 2mm by 2mm. And our outer thread height is 2mm, which is this one here. Now we want to change our inner thread height to 2mm. So just click on it. 2, enter. Next we want to change sides per turn to make this more roundy. See how this flats in it now? So just go to the max and the circle becomes smooth and round. Next we want to set our thread diameters. Currently there's a bug with screw threads so we can't manipulate our boxes by clicking on them and dragging around. We have to do everything in the dialog box. The bug is if you move it with these boxes it doesn't add into these numbers here. Now I want a thread that's 15mm from the outside to the outside. So the inside diameter will be 15 minus 2 minus 2, which is 11mm. But because this is a radius, we have to halve that, which will be 5.5mm. Next we want our 15mm OD, so the radius is 7.5mm. Next we want to adjust our height, so go home. And we want the maximum number of turns. But so the coils don't bunch up, we'll get to our maximum total height just temporarily. Get our max number of turns, which is 20. And now we have to work out a correct total height. We'll just zoom in with the scroll wheel. Select front. Click the scroll wheel down and move it down a bit. I want a 2mm tooth height with a 2mm gap. So I want 4mm from the underside to the underside of this one. So 4mm times 20 turns is 80mm, so we punch in 80mm. Select Home. This dialog box calculates things a bit differently than the outside dimensions here. Here it says 80mm, but if we hover on the box it says 82mm. But the dialog box is actually correct. Scroll wheel zoom, click scroll wheel to move. We want 80mm from this plane to the underside of this tooth, but when you hover on the, over the box, it goes to the top of the tooth. So it's 80mm plus one tooth, which is 82mm. So this is correct. And that's our thread. Now if you need a longer thread, you have to stack them. Go back to home. While this is still selected, select duplicate. We'll just change the color so you can see it a bit better. Click the scroll wheel so we can see more. Now we have to lift the duplicate until the teeth match up. So we grab our arrow and lift it up 80mm. Select front. Zoom in. Scroll click down. And our tooth looks good. Home. This was just a demonstration of extending the thread, so we can delete it. For our nut, we need a modified version of this thread, so we select it. We duplicate, and we'll just move that to the side temporarily. Next, if you need a shaft in here, we just go to Basic Shapes. Grab a cylinder. Make it smooth and roundy with a lot of sides. We know our inside diameter is 11mm, so we change this to 11mm. We want our height about 100mm. While this is still selected, you can see by the boxes here, we hold the shift and we select the thread. Then we go align. We want to align the shaft to our thread, so we click on the thread again. And we go to this center and this center. If you want to stop on the bottom so the thread doesn't screw right off, select cylinder again. 
We know our OD is 15, so we'll change that to 15. Make it smooth, number of sides, max, and the height I'll make one thread, so 2 mil. Change the colour so you can see it a bit better. While this is still selected, we hold the shift key down, select our thread, align to our thread, so click on it again, center to center. If you want flats on the side like my syringe screw, we grab a box, drag it to any height over 100 mil. We'll just make this a bit narrower, 10 mil. I want my screw 9 mil thick, so we'll duplicate our subtraction and use our keyboard arrow keys to move it over. This is 10 mil plus 9 makes 19 mil, and our grid is set to 1 millimeter. So press the arrow key 19 times. It's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. While that's still selected, hold the shift key down and click on the other subtraction, group. While that's still all selected, hold the shift key down, select the thread again, align to the thread here and here, box select everything, and group. We now have to lay it flat, so we click on this arrow, hold the shift, and rotate to 90 degrees. Then we have to lower it to the plane, so we grab this arrow, drag it down till we get to zero. And that's our threaded screw. Just move that to the side temporarily. And now do our nut. So we grab our thread back again. Now for our screw to run in a nut, we need a clearance. So this thread has to be bigger. And the amount you make it bigger is dependent on how good your 3D printer can print. I'll be using 0.4 of a mil everywhere. First thing, we have to make the inner radius bigger. But I'm not going to make it 0.4 bigger, I'm going to make it 0.2 bigger. And half of 0.2 is 0.1, so I make this 5.6. I'll explain why I'm using less clearance here later. Next is the outer radius, 0.4 bigger, half of that is 0.2, so it's 7.7. Next we have to make the tooth height higher, so the inner and outer will have to be 0.4 bigger, so 2.4. 2.4. Because we've added that 0.4, we have to make our total height 0.4 bigger. So that's 80.4 millimeters. Number of turns and sides per turn stay the same. Next, we have to put a shaft in the center, so we grab a cylinder, make it roundy. You can make the height anything over 82 mil. I'll just go 100. Now to get our 0.4 clearance on our 11 mil, we need this 11.4. So we click on the corner, 11.4. While it's still selected, hold the shift key down, select the thread, align to the thread here and here. You can see now our smaller 11.2 is overlapping our 11.4. It's not entirely necessary, but it does ensure there's no air gaps between the shaft and the thread. Next we select all, group. Now to make sure the thread goes all the way through the nut, we have to lower this down. Or we'll have a step in our thread. So we select home. We just lower it anything more than 2 mil, and it'll be fine. While it's still selected, we make it a subtraction. To make a nut, we need a shape called cog ring 2. So we go back to the all, find the page. Currently it's on page 9. We grab the cog ring, we bring it in. We want 30 mil OD, so we hold the shift key down, grab the corner, and drag it out to 30. Height we want 10 mil, so we change that to 10. Now we have to fill the center, so it's back to basic shapes. Now 
Grab the cylinder. The blank plug has to fit inside the cog ring without disturbing the knurling, so we make it a bit smaller, like 27 mil. So hold the shift key down, grab the corner, drag it to 27. Make it the same height, 10 mil. While it's all selected, hold the shift key down and select the cog ring. Align to the cog ring here and here. Box select. Group. While it's still selected, select the thread. So hold the shift key down, select the thread. Align to the thread. Here and here. Select all. And group. And that's our nut and thread. On a side note, when you print these, where the print touches your hot build plate, it distorts a little. So you might have to chamfer the edges of the threads on the bottom with a blade to get the thread to run smooth. Same problem with the nut. You're going to have to trim some of the thread where it touched the build plate. And that's square thread screws and nuts.